Welcome back boys and girls. It's Gigi and my oh my, I am so happy to be with you all yet once again. I hope that you all are doing well. Hope that your school year is going well and that all your family is doing all right. I hope so. Well, welcome. And you know, I saw our little friend Esther. I saw Esther and looked like she was putting some suitcases in the car. So I'm going to call her over here and see what's going on. All right, let me call her. Esther! Esther! Hi! Could you come here for a second, please? Yeah, come on over here for just a second. She's coming. Hi, Gigi! Hi, friends! Hello, Esther! How are you doing today? Doing great? You know, Esther, I was just telling the boys and girls that I saw you this morning. And it looked as if you were packing up to go somewhere. You're going on a trip. I saw some suitcases that you were putting in the car. Yes, Gigi. You're going on a trip? Sure am. You see, friends, I'm going on a trip to see my cousin Lucy. And Lucy lives in Texas. Oh, my. Well, is Lucy your age? Is she in your grade? How old is Lucy? Lucy is seven years old, and I'm six years old. Wow. When was the last time you saw Lucy? Um, it was about this time last year. Yes, I remember because it was right after Thanksgiving. Wow. Well, I know you are very excited to go visit your cousin Lucy, and you be sure and tell her that we said hello. I sure will. And you know, boys and girls, today's story talks about someone that had that went on a trip. That's right, somebody that went on a trip. And so today's Bible story is titled, Ruth, You Shall Be My God. Ruth, huh? That's right. And we're going to find out all about the story of Ruth. And I hope that you'll stick around because I would really love it, Esther, if you could help us with some of the questions and answers after the story. I'd love to. All right, friends, listen up, because Gigi is going to tell the story. Thank you so much, Esther. All right, boys and girls, so today's story is called Ruth, You Shall Be My God. And this Bible story is found in the Old Testament in the book of Ruth. That's right, the book of Ruth. Chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. So I'm going to tell the story. And boys and girls, you listen up real carefully so that when we ask the questions, you'll be all ready for the answers. You ready? All right, let's read the story. I'm ready. All right, Esther. Ruth, your God shall be my God. In the previous stories, we have seen the obedience of Joshua the courage of Gideon, and the strength of Samson. But now, during the time when the judges ruled Israel, comes the sweetest story of all. The sweetest story, that's right, Esther. The sweetest story of all. This is the story of a girl named Ruth. Ruth lived in the country of Moab where the people worshipped idols. Meanwhile, in Bethlehem of Judah, lived a man named Elimelech. Can you say Elimelech? How about you, Esther? Elimelech. Hey, that's real good. Boys and girls, you try it. Elimelech. That's it. Okay, so uh, in Bethlehem of Judah, lived this man, and his name was Elimelech. His wife's name was Naomi, and their two sons were Malon and Chilion. Malon and Chilion, okay? For some years, their farm crops weren't doing too well, and the food became very scarce. That's right, didn't have a lot of food. So, Elimelech took his family to Moab. Can you say that name? Moab. That's it. Moab. Okay. Elimelech 
had planned to return to Judah after a while, but he died while he was in Moab. That's right. He died. Where did I leave off at? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Lost my place. His two sons married women of Moab, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. The two young men also died. What? That's right. The two young men died as well. So Orpah's husband died and Ruth's husband died. Wow. Yeah, so sad. So Naomi and her two daughters-in-law were all left widows. Widows. After 10 years in Moab, Naomi heard that the Lord had again provided a good harvest in Judah. Mm -hmm. So she began getting ready to travel to Bethlehem. Her two daughters-in-law loved her and they wanted to go with her. Wow, that's real nice of them. Sure was. So Naomi said to them, Go back to your own mother's homes and may the Lord deal kindly with you. Naomi kissed them farewell and the three women wept together. They wept. Yeah, they wept. Why do you think they wept? Well, I guess they might have wept because they had to leave. They had to travel somewhere and they were a little sad. I think so. Let's find out. The two young widows said, We will go with you and live among your people. No, no, said Naomi. You are young and I am old. Period. Go back and be happy among your own people. Then Orpah kissed Naomi and went back to her people. But Ruth would not leave her. Ruth stayed with Naomi. That's right. Ruth would not leave her. Matter of fact, she said, this is what Ruth said to Naomi. She said, do not ask me to go, for I will never leave you. Where you go, I will go. Wow, right, right. Your people shall be my people, and your God shall be my God. Nothing but death shall part you and me. When Naomi saw that Ruth would not change her mind, she stopped trying to persuade her. So the two went together toward Bethlehem. Isn't that something? Wow, Gigi. Naomi and Ruth stayed together. That's right. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you were listening to the story. Okay? So let's, let's ask a few questions. We're going to ask three questions. And Esther is going to, to help you out. You need a little help with the answers, okay? So number one, number one. Where did Orpah go after she kissed Naomi? Do you remember? How about, do you remember Esther? I think I do. Boys and girls, Let's give it a shot. Let me see. Where did Orpah go after she kissed Naomi? Oh, yes, I remember. She went back to her people. Is that right, Gigi? That's right. That's right, Esther. Boys and girls, did you guess it as well? I hope so. I hope so. Okay, number two. Number two. What? Did Ruth say to Naomi after she kissed her? What did Ruth say to Naomi? Hmm. She said something, right? 
You thinking, boys and girls? Esther, you want to help them out? Okay, let me think. What did Ruth say to Naomi? Oh, yes, I remember. She said, do not ask me to go. I will never leave you. That's right. Boys and girls, did you get the answer right? I know you did. I know you did. Very good. Very good. Okay, and number three. To what city did Naomi and Ruth go? Thinking, think, think, think. Are you thinking, think, think, think? I know the answer. Come on, friends. Let's answer together. Toward Bethlehem. That's right. Great job, boys and girls, and great job, Esther. Thanks, Gigi. Thanks, friends, for all your help. That's wonderful, boys and girls. All right. So, we have a memory verse for the parents. All right. The memory verse is found in the book of Joshua. Joshua, chapter 24, and verse 15. Joshua 24, verse 15. This is what it says. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's say it together. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Very good. Parents, I know you can remember that. And boys and girls, I know you can help the parents remember that scripture. All right, very good. Okay, well, we have a song. We have a song. And Esther, are you going to help me sing this song? I'd love to. All right. Boys and girls, this song is called, This is My Commandment. This is My Commandment. It's really, really super, super easy. So I want you to help me sing it. And Esther's going to help me as well. Yes? All right, you ready? This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. Very good. Very easy song, right? This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be be full. Well, boys and girls, that is it for today. Uh, Esther, would you like to close us out in prayer? Give us a closing prayer. Sure would. Okay, boys and girls and friends, close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for Gigi sharing the story about Ruth and Naomi and Orpah. Thank you, Lord. We learned that what love truly means sometimes is staying with those you love because you care for them. Help us, dear God, to be more loving, to be more friendly, and to do your will and obey your commandments. Thank you for all the boys and girls. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Esther, for that beautiful prayer. And boys and girls, we look forward to seeing you next time. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you next week. And remember, if you're not already a part of Get Lifted in God's Word for Kids, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any videos and click that thumbs up. God bless you and we love you.
Bye.